Doctor Mary, we are ready. The music, play. What a fun way to depict this story. Um, I want to talk about, you know, the decision to make it so... Um, you know, this way, you know, in a musical. I don't think we've ever had a musical of uh, this story. Nobody was crazy enough to try it. Then, <laughs> then I came <laughs> on. <laughs> so what was the process of you coming on board and um, your kind of interest in that and, and all that jazz? Well, um, it was other people coming on board. I, I guess my vision, I, I had this idea 17 years ago first. When I was visiting my uh, my wife's family in Iowa and I couldn't find exactly this. You said, there's nobody's done this. And I'm like, why? Like, we need to do this. And I've been a songwriter, uh, producer at that time. And um, I sat down that Christmas and wrote an 11 page treatment with a bunch of song ideas and story ideas, uh, character ideas. And um, that was the beginning of this journey for me. And, um, you know, it was just, I really, uh, really wanted to make a movie for the entire family. Um, and that was a celebration and colorful and vibrant and fun because so many biblical movies are, are more somber. People don't smile, uh, sheep grazing in dirt. <laughs> There's no color, you know, staff and sandals. And I'm like, I don't want that. I want it to be my storybook Bible as a kid come to life. So kids will be engaged the whole time and lean in and want to watch this over and over again and, and see what Christmas is about. I love that, um, you know, because I think you're right. We tend to be or the church tends to be so serious, but people aren't serious. When you're in com- conversation with people, you know, they want to have the joy and they want to mm-hmm. have, and what is it? It says the joy of the Lord, right? So yeah. um, just don't I show thought, it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so it's nice to kind of have that in movie format with this topic. I know it's important to be honoring of, of you know, Mary and the journey, um, mm-hmm. but you've done that. There were some songs that were more, um, kind of talking about her faith. And so um, talking about, yeah, how you kind of knew when to be a little bit more serious and a little bit, you know, more, <clears throat> have a little bit more depth to the conversation. Yeah. when Yeah. Well, I think there is obviously moments where you have to be reverent. Um, and I, I, res- I had to protect that, protect the canon is what I called it. Um, you know, you have Matthew 1 and 2 and Luke 1 and 2. That's really what we have. Um, so I lived in the in-betweens of the scriptures when I had to, uh, do the more fun stuff and and things that uh, are a little more creative, but then when it came time for Gabriel's message, that was biblical. You know, the scripture and um, Mary's song is very biblical and, and um, very much about her walk with the Lord, um, and it's and it's very uh, emotional and powerful. Um, the nativity scene, you know, when Jesus is born, we're not joking around. Um, it's powerful and it's emotional again and. Um, but I knew that to have a family movie, you have to have certain things. And one of them is fun comedy. And so kids stay engaged. And for me, it was the wise men were my three stooges. It was just right there. I have a villain in Herod. I have Mary and Joseph's love story. And then I have my comedy, my comic relief. And that's how I structured it. Um, so anytime it got too serious, I'd inject the wise men and have a laugh. And, uh, that's how we did it. Well, you know, a lot of times they show, you know, they show Mary as, as one way, but this was like, you know, she was really thinking about the situation, right? And she was really going through her faith. And that's, to me, it seems like kind of a more, you know, even though there was silliness, it was a more kind of realistic portrayal of who she is in terms of, you know, I, I've been pregnant three times, I have three kids, you know, yeah. you would really, this would be a, a, a big deal, right? This would be a huge thing. Um, re- so I, I like that, we kind of think about those things with her. Yeah. I think it's important to make the characters relatable. So you go along for the journey, no pun intended. And, um, I, I just imagined, well, what was it like when she had to tell her parents, you know, did they believe her? Um, it's a crazy thing to say to your parents. Well, an angel visited me and said, I'm going to be pregnant with the son of God. Okay, Mary. Yeah, sure. (laughs) (laughs) Like, what are you crazy? Um, so I just imagined that, um, and whether that's exactly what happened or not, I don't know. I, I say in the beginning of the movie inspired by a true story, it's not a documentary. They didn't sing and dance to pop music either. I know that. Um, <laughs> but, um, and you have to heighten a movie like this. If, if I made like a documentary style mo- movie and then they started singing and dancing to pop songs, they'd go like, what is wrong with this filmmaker? He's, he's terrible. Um, you have to heighten the world enough so it all makes sense and it feels natural. And so that's where the fun and color and celebration comes in. And what better thing to celebrate and have fun with than, than Christmas and the birth of Christ? That's a celebration. That shouldn't be anything but a source of joy and hope. 
there is drama on all these shows, right? Like you mm-hmm. have to have, mm-hmm. <laughs> because we well, only have a couple books to work off of. And so there is stuff that's been added in there for drama. hundred well, percent. You know, look, I know the wise men probably came three after three years after Jesus was born. Yeah. Um, it doesn't make for a very good movie. The movie's yeah. over and the wise men show up. Um, not a great movie, but not only that, you know, every great artist in history who were yeah. men of faith, by the way, they painted the nativity scene, uh, scene and the wise men were there. Well, if they could take that license and we've accepted that we have nativity scenes in our churches and our homes, that's not the biblical account technically. Uh, but I thought, well, if we can accept that, maybe they can give me creative license to do that as well. Uh, so we can have this fun movie. Um, and then obviously it's designed to make people ask more about this and go to the Bible and, and read it for yourself and, and discover your faith. Now you've been in a Hollywood for a long time though, and you've written a lot of different, um, types of programs and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so this one, um, did you feel personally connected to this one or what was the, was there a deep, deeper level there? It's been very personal. Um, you know, I've seen this movie, uh, gosh, hundreds of times now, obviously, since I directed it and, um, I still, when I get to, to the nativity scene, I choke up and, and get emotional and, and it's not cause I did such an amazing job with it. It's, it's because of what it means to me. Um, and I think it's just so powerful. And, um, I don't know that I'll ever feel as personally connected to a movie that, that I, uh, will make in the future. I don't know. Uh, certainly I haven't felt this, uh, anything that I've done before. Um, this is uh, a very, very special project for me. I grew up in the ministry with my parents. Um, this is our story, um, the most important story of our faith. And um, my faith has sustained me my whole life and my whole career in Hollywood. And um, so this is very, very special for me. I love that. Well, thank you for saying that. Um, and Antonio Banderas, was that, I mean, that's a joy to have him. And he was, he added a level of comedy there and did mm-hmm. such a great job. So he's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, he was a talent. I couldn't believe we got him. Uh, <laughs> it was a miracle in itself. <laughs> You know, I couldn't get to him. It took forever. I was trying to get through the manager, and it was kind of a long shot anyway, an Oscar nominee. You know, like a guy, he's a huge movie star. And um, it just turned out he was in Madrid where I was prepping the movie at the same time. Um, so I was like, that's not a coincidence. And I started going to his show there. And long story short, um, he came out to talk to me, and I was able to, to uh, get him excited about this. And there you go. Another God thing, I think. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to show my kids. I think it'll be a great you know, my kids are still pretty super little, but you know, in the future, I think it'll be fun for them because there Mm -hmm. is the music aspect to it. And um, so I commend you on that. And is that one of the reasons you wanted to do it for your family? And hundred percent, it's a family movie uh, from my family to your family. Really, my wife and I wrote all the songs together. Our first date was writing a song. We are 26 years later, still writing songs. Um, My boys were very involved. I have young boys, but I had to make sure they liked it too. Um, and, uh, it's really for the whole family. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just hope everyone will bring their friends and family and it's not even just for Christians. This is for everyone. Yeah. Um, Cause you know, sometimes it's hard to ask your, your neighbors to go to church with you, but it's not hard to say, let's go see a movie. Do you truly believe that this child is the chosen one? What is his name? Jesus. If you enjoy videos that follow your values like ours and you want to help us continue, uh, go to movieguide.org slash donate because we're actually a nonprofit. You may not know that, but we're working in Hollywood every day to help families have more choices that follows their values. And also subscribe right now.